A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. What do you think, Pebs? High five, come here, give me a high five. Nope. Come on, Pebs. Come on. Oh, morning everybody. I'm here with Pebbles. Hi Pebbles. <laughs> and oh, I'm really excited. I've been traveling quite a lot recently, but I'm finally back in my local habitat with these amazing oak trees here. I've got a little bit of autumn. I'm so excited because it's really late, but the leaves look fantastic. I think I've got it almost at peak. There's fog. <laughs> Just doesn't get better than this. So I'm going to have a look down here, see what I can find. Oh, so excited. So there's definitely a lot of beech leaves left on, as you can see behind me here. And there's a little bit of fog down here. I think I'm going to have to stay quite high because the fog, um, unusually here, it, it tends to be a little bit higher and doesn't drop into the valley a little too much but there's going to be lots of little bits of compositions I think that I'm going to find I'm just so excited I don't care what I get to be honest I just love this so much I'm out with pebbles it's a beautiful morning and I've just done an exposure of this scene here and it's quite dark still so it was a 10 second exposure f8 ISO 64 I think it'll be a nice starter there's a lovely branch going over there <sighs> Amazing. So I found something here and I think I like these trees down here. I like the ferns just in the front there and I like this tree and rock just on the left hand side there. So I've tried to create a triangle that sort of links those three things together. I think it works. I think there's a little bit of dead space here, but um, on a morning like this, you just want to photograph everything. Everything looks beautiful. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my word, even Pebbles is more excited than usual, aren't you, Pebs? Yep. <sighs> right, so I've taken this, I've focused at it, I've focused on the ferns and the trees. Got all the data. So it's a bit foggier in this direction. I'm a little bit higher now. I'm going into the open. I'm going to head over there and see what I can find. I think there might be some options a little bit higher up. What do you think, Pebs? High five, come here, give me a high five. Nope. We're going back that way, Pebs, I'm just getting my camera. Okay, so I think um, I've spent a little bit of time outside the woodland and there's quite a lot of fog here, but I feel like I'm gonna to have to go back in a little bit because um, I want some of the color and the color is just where it's um, a little bit more sheltered in, in, in the woodland. So I'm gonna go back that way, I've just gone up there see what I can find. Ah, so beautiful, so, so beautiful. Okay, so, um, so I'm walking back into the woodland and I've come across this sort of coppice of trees here. And I've shot these before actually, but what I like is just these last bits of silver birch leaf and then just sort of arching over this tree in the background that's in the mist. There's a little bit of problem on the, on the right hand side as you see it because it's just quite heavy on the right and not so heavy on the left. I've moved around a little bit, taken a few different um, compositions, I'll show you them. Um, I think a vertical one where I am now, just a bit higher works the best, maybe square. <laughs> Oh, I just hope this mist doesn't go. It's, I think it's lifting just a little bit. And the problem is all the good compositions are down lower. 
just fingers crossed that we get something. But if not, <laughs> this is amazing anyway, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes when the conditions are like this and it's a little bit changeable, the fog's moving around a little bit, you think there's got to be a good photo somewhere, you can get quite anxious and just want to rush around taking photos. But I find that if you sort of fight that a little bit and you just accept that there will be a better photo somewhere and just try and enjoy the moment, just walk around, enjoy your surroundings, accept the fact you are where you are, the conditions elsewhere might be better, then you find more things, you start to see things that you might not have seen otherwise. And I just saw a little scene over there with this tree on the edge of the woodland um, and then a tree overhanging. I'll, I'll show you the picture in a minute, but I don't think I'd have spotted that if I was just rushing around. I'm just gonna accept what comes my way and you just enjoy the morning. As Pebbles is. <laughs> She's a little bit more manic though. So I just quite like this little scene here. Um, I've taken it with the path going through, but I feel when the path's going through, you've got too much sort of dead space on, on this side here. So I've zoomed in a little bit. And this branch is just super interesting. There's a little bit of leaf left on, and you know it's it's fairly fairly um, simple, but I just like the shapes of the trees, and sometimes the shapes of the trees help to lead your eye around an image, and I, I feel like this works really well. So yeah, it's just f11, just to make sure I get everything in focus. Focus on the tree. Done. What do you think, Pebs? Go on, high five. Low five, low five, no five. Snack time soon, isn't it? Snack time. Okay, I've just found a scene here where I've just walked through this path. And if I just sort of point it out um, on here, so you can just see that um, there's a path just at the bottom. There's a little bit more room on the actual um, still image. The, vi the video crops it a little bit. But I've just got a really nice lineup of trees and then there's always good payoffs between the trees. So there's a tree there, there's a tree up there. There's, and it just, it's just a really nice line of trees and then I really like the path going through. It's quite a clean path. So I definitely thought this was a, worth a go. I'm actually shooting it, if you look, I'm, I'm shooting it with my um, 85 millimeter lens. So I don't often do that. I don't often shoot with primes, but this is just a perfect 85 millimeter shot. So I thought rather than put my 70 to 200, I'll try with the prime. I don't think it's gonna make a huge amount of difference in terms of sharpness, but I thought it was worth a go. So yep, yeah, I'm shooting with this and um, be interesting to see what I get. We may have it all. Up the ladder, down the wall Different mysteries Full of mixed with tears We are happy most of the time And we oh, What have got for you here, hi oh, I've got a Kit Kat no, that's for me, it's not for you. I've got you this, what's this, a treat? Pebbles, paw, paw. No, you're not even gonna do high five for that. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. When I'm covered 
No, Pebbles, you can't have this. This is my coffee. You, you knock my cup over. I have this. No. My coffee. found a shot here that's a little bit abstract it's these trees here you just see the fingers here just sort of pointing out and um, of this beech tree and then I've got these two sort of oak trees going diagonally it's slightly abstract I just need to move left and right just to get the right positioning of the trees I feel like it's good I feel like it's going to be a square crop probably um, but we'll have a look at this image and a few other images printed when we get back in the studio I think it's time to go back have a coffee and Pebbles just needs to have a rest. She's been running so much. <laughs> what a morning. Left and right we braid Through the ups and downs we sway Okay, so I've got a... You can see me here. I've got another shot which is this one above me here and there's this tree there's this really nice beech tree and then there's this tree here in the foreground with the sort of branch coming over the top I think it's a vertical so a portrait it looks good if I just had a little bit of fog in this it'd just create a little bit more depth to it but I feel like the the, the distance from the camera of the various trees helps to do that I'm really pleased about it. No polarizers, no filters. I've not used filters all day. It looks great. I am going back to the studio. We will print some photos out. I am so excited. Under the moon, we are, we are happy most of the time. Okay, I'd had a fantastic time in the woodland there. I got so lucky with a little bit of mist, not a huge amount, but I had a little bit of mist. But the colours were amazing. It was just a peaceful, flat, calm morning. And it was really interesting, actually, because I spoke about briefly just this feeling that there's always a better photo. Um, I just wanted to touch on that because I think when you go to a location, you always want to get the best photo. You always want to find the place that's going to yield the best photo from that location. And the reality is there is no best photo. There are lots of different photos. You go at a different time of year, a different photographer goes. You, you maybe even see something differently the multiple times that you go back to a location. And I think as soon as you realize that, as soon as you think to yourself, okay, I'm not going to worry too much about getting what is the best photo. I'm just gonna stay in the moment. I'm gonna get what I can in this location then I think you start to open up more possibilities and you end up actually getting better photos than just rushing around trying to find the best, best place. So I just want to touch on a couple of photos um, that obviously I've printed out. So the first one was this one here, which was probably my favorite photo, I think, of, of, of the morning. And this is of this amazing path here. Um, and I, I really, this is a good example of where if you just look behind you, you see something. I was walking through from the other direction, walking through here, and I just looked back and I thought this looked good. I think I've photographed this path in the past before as well, but I really like the fact we've just got these, you know, just little bit of birch trees and um, uh, leaves left on. They just look really nice. Um, there's no light really, so it's very flat lighting. Unfortunately, I didn't have any sort of warm sunlight which would have been really amazing but um, not like really direct light but just a glow coming through the mist would have been really good but I didn't get that um, it was still amazing the bracken looked really good and um, yeah it was just a question this was actually the one with the 85 millimeter I compared it with a 24 to 70 f 2.8 I couldn't see any different and if anything I thought the 24 to 70 f 2.8 maybe just had the edge in terms of sharpness um, I um, obviously it was a slightly different um, focal length, but I feel like this was just zoomed in a little bit better, looked look, look better. 
I really like this path through here and these group of trees here, these two trees here, just leading your eye through to, to the distance. I thought it looked really, really nice. This is printed on PhotoSpeed NST bright white um, from Lightroom, um, where is, which is where how I get the borders. I, I print it um, within Lightroom. Obviously, you can do that in Photoshop as well. I like printing from Lightroom because you're printing from the raw image. You don't have to mess about with color spaces. It's just it's just a lot easier. So the other image, and I wasn't sure about. Maybe, maybe you can help me out here. So there's another image, which is this one, um, and this image was um, my, the most colorful. Um, it was right at the end of my uh, of my morning. I probably had been there for about five hours, I think, and I finally um, found this location. And I really like this tree here. Um, and I, I printed the one without the branch over the top, but I'll just show you now. This is the one with the branch over the top. It's zoomed out a little bit. Which do you prefer? I'd really like to know what you think. I keep going between the two. I think the branch might just be a little bit distracting. But um, yeah, I, I, I really like this. I, this is a real anchor on the left hand side and then there's just a lot of detail, a lot for the eye to look at. Yeah, some, some fairly good results from that morning and um, I had a fantastic time. It was just really relaxing and sometimes that's what photography is all about, just chilling out, taking your time and just having a brilliant morning. Okay, before I go, I just want to say about a Black Friday offer that I've got. Um, so you probably know that I've got um, two masterclasses. I've got Masterclass One, which is the fundamentals of photography. That's all about if you're new to photography or you may be just an intermediate and you want to just know more about composition and just the fundamentals of photography, basically. Things like focus, exposure, all those sort of things. Um, and I've got that masterclass and I've got another masterclass, Masterclass 2, which is more about an in-depth, my workflow as a professional, you know, what I do when I go out in the field and what I do when I come back and edit my Lightroom photos, my whole workflow from beginning to end. Um, and I've got a special Black Friday offer of $100 off each of those, or if you buy both of them, then there's $100 off the bundle, which actually gives you more than $200 off the whole, whole lot. So the links are in the description. Um, obviously that massively supports me as well. And I, I just wanted to also say that my, the sponsor of this week's video is Squarespace and they allow me to really easily just put this offer on my website. Um, and also uh, allow me to put this video on my website as well. So you can probably see if I just, um, just move the website backwards and forwards, you can see that the video slightly zooms in and zooms out. That video is hosted on YouTube and then I just link it um, through to the website here. Squarespace does all the complicated stuff. Anyway, um, I thought I'd mention that. Squarespace um, have sponsored the video, so thanks to Squarespace. And if you're looking for a website and, and you're looking to do things like that, which are really easy, then make sure you go to squarespace.com forward slash Nigel or use offer code Nigel for 10% off. Okay, that's it for this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next Sunday, bye.